Okay, hello and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Uh, we're come, we're playing through the campaign. Uh, this is chapter four. Uh, Cocalus. Uh, I don't know what's going down here, but this is our new priority. So let's find Without out. Without accurate data from Idris, we're stuck relying on these old onboard computers to calculate our FTL jumps. Luckily, I think I've found us an out. There's an abandoned colony halfway between Alpha and Gamma that isn't registering much activity. It should be a relatively safe jump. As long as we're careful with our data, we can take the data list from there to Gamma and back home to Ragnar, hopefully without collecting any moons along the way. Okay, so this is going to be sort of, a, it is beyond the red line, but it's supposed to be a safe jump for us. Uh, get some decent trillium requisition points and a torpedo blueprint we can unlock now torpedoes are kind of like missiles um, the difference is, is they operate over a number of turns so they're not they're dumb fire they're not smart fire which is good because like um, later on in the campaign if I remember right the uh, the Missiles can the, the silence can take control of our smart missiles. Uh, at the moment, our quorum, which is a representative from each of the planets, um, is what one, two, three, four, five against because they're not they're not doing so well. Uh, thing is, these these systems have fallen. These systems are under attack right now, and we have two safe systems. <laughs> which is yeah um it's our 435 trillion um uh, i'm hoping the uh to, to get more forces All right so i've got 600 trillion might be enough if i come into here that that is just enough to rush one of these i think i'm gonna go with the adamant we'll get this uh, we'll get the um the berserk next turn but this gives us something more for our fleet so if um i look at this all right so i have two moderate risk uh cylon fleets and this is a colonial fleet this is our colonial fleet. So what I can do is I can transfer this into flight group Daedalus. And as as we progress, um, we'll be able to unlock more f uh, um, and, and rank up. We'll be able to unlock more fleets, so we can do like more than one action per turn. But this is uh, the risk of seven, hazard risk high. Yep. Without accurate data from Idris, we're stuck relying on these old onboard computers to calculate our FTL jumps. Luckily, I think I've found us an out. There's an abandoned colony halfway no, between Alpha and that. Gamma that so... isn't registering much activity. It should be a relatively safe jump. As long as we're careful with our data, we can take the data list from there to Gamma and back home to Ragnar, hopefully without collecting any moons along so the way. So I want to jump us to Cocalus. Like, the, leaving up a turn mm, is bad, but then on, at the same time, getting our fleet up to strength is more important. Now, I could take care of these, and these would be useful because these, these will give us benefits. Um, and in fact, because I mean, these are close by. So what I want to do is, this is a short jump. It should be within our, our red line. Uh, um, let's go save Icarus before we complete this. I'm hoping. Where is Icarus? Oh, I didn't say. But I mean, ideally, I want I want to sort of make sure because I think that one's on. Yeah, Persephone. Um, I do want to repair the fleet. It's going to cost three trillion. That's good. Okay, so action come here. stations. Set Ooh, condition damn. one throughout Daedalus. I've just got two fleets there. So 
Hopefully this isn't going to go too bad. I mean, we should rank up. I don't know. I can't remember if I get bonuses for ranking up my ships. Yeah, yeah. So they, they automatically get bonuses when they're experienced. So these have got 10% uh, max range on their views. Uh, we do have three fleets available or three squadrons of um, vipers which is useful. fleet group is jumping in three two one hopefully do we have any contacts yeah we have three contacts that's cool we, we I think we can handle three contacts um, let's have you so Come say we like all. This. Um, I am going to launching fighters, and I'd like to. Launching fighters as well, because I, I, I want. We did well last time, keeping our um, ships protected. This is this is the entire. Get every gun bikers. ready and bearing on the hostiles. <clears throat> Time um, to make a bunch of mama toasters cry. It's. It might seem weird, but like the entire point uh, in uh, in Viper Squadrons is to act like a. Um, Missile defense screen, especially. Especially when. Um, we're, uh, we're. We're still. Like, we don't have battle stars and we don't have flak shields. Because <laughs> flak is essentially shields from missiles, because missiles are the biggest threat available um, now again I want to make sure that we're full attack I know it means we can't have sensors up but the idea is is like we'll come in and our first volley should be absolutely devastating now, I think this is probably gonna be either a Rodus squadron like down there so I, I want to bring this down further we just need to sort of like Escort clearance zone is back. in order to see what's going on oh I don't think this, the fights are going to get there quick enough missiles incoming that's a shame I mean, we don't have anything in range right now, so it's not going to be dead. Fine. Okay. Understood. I'm gonna move you like there, actually. Yeah. Move you down a bit. And I know these, these are going in a bit fast. So I'm going to. I should probably just like make a control group. Hostile unit identified. There we go. Now, come on, come now. on, come on. That's for clear zone and test. Priority one is in safe hands. That hurt. Get him, get him, get him. IFF confirms unit is hostile. Oh, oh that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. So I am gonna bring this round like that, so we've got the other side to bear. Missile on you. Missile Missiles on, on you. their way. Missile on yeah, 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 yeah. you and missile on you. There we go. On it, Commander. That. These two to focus their fire on you, and we'll slow them down. 
you. I am going to want you to focus fire on him. Right, I should work quite well. And all I'm doing is him right now is just spinning them around. Switching gun to manual. Now we're close. Okay, so he's pretty much dead. So what I can do is I can bring him round, bring him down like that. Um, I will now bring him over to here. Understood. And stay on that trajectory. Now let's both of them focus fire on him. And he is currently being firewalled. Um, so there's both of the defenses. Optimizing firing Ooh. solutions. Adjusting shot by point zero six. Fire. There we go. That's two of them dead. For that, two turns for that. Okay. He's running, he looks like he's running. Okay, so I want him to focus on there. I think he's still. Yes, oh, right, sir. Right, right. It's the hangar that has been hit. That's fine, that's fine. As long as it's Solution updated. Target acquisition maintained. We're gonna hammer the frackers so they can't get back up. Missiles incoming! Gonna hammer that side of him. So say we all. Again, I think they've got a turn left to say. It's fine. As soon as it, as soon as that's over. Target acquisition is screwed. Give me manual controls now. Understood. Understood. I know he's been hacked. Yeah, navigation. But that's fine, that's fine. I don't need to worry about that. I do want the fire controller, because I basically it's gonna be one thing, but I think they're both dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. There we go. Kill, confirmed kill, confirmed kill. So we've got three kills and each rush has got a confirmed kill. It's good. And we walked away with a decent amount of treatment. Uh, so, Killian, whatever. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Another hazard risk moderate, so it's fine. And rush that. So now, we're, now we've got our carrier done as well. So I can now come in. I can say transfer you to the flight group. So our flight group now has a decent amount of ships actually. So we've got what five ships, five out of us.
Cafe 7. Oh, I like those names. I mean, I could rename them, but uh, I'm not going to. Still got the Daedalus. Okay. And I'm going to repair the fleet. Four Tilia, that's fine. Um, I should be able to. It looks like something's jumping to Ragnar. to jump that should be fine oh, I don't have enough tillium do I? no okay that's fine I think I'm just going to end the turn cool So, got a decent fleet, so let's see what we can do here. I mean, I might splinter off and make a new fleet when I start getting more ships. Uh, I want to put my carrier over on this side. Prepare to jump in three, two, one. Okay, so they're supposed to be an environmental. Multiple path, contacts on Dreadus, sir. <coughs> Records show there hasn't been a Tauran presence out here since the war first broke. We can safely assume any Dreadus contacts out there are hostile. Blast us away home, Commander. There's a note. Like, while we're fighting the toasters right now, because it's the, um, this is the war, uh... Yes, sir. The, uh... Launching alert, Vipers. There are points where... Launching alert, Vipers. Uh, uh, like the ongoing war between the colonies like yeah the articles of colonization do mean that they're sort of like a loose alliance but this is only against the um, Cylon threat like the, a lot of these planets are still at war with each other okay so I want you to defend yeah. oh no 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 you to defend that Want you to defend that. You defend the battle star. Well, not the battle star, but the element. And you can should be defending that. Right, cool. I'm just going to keep slow boating. Gonna slow boat in um, thing. We do have a minor contact, two minor contacts. These are carriers. 100% know these are carriers now. Right, so. Break off. These two. Can break. Ooh. These two can break off this direction. Let's go up a bit. On it, Commander. And then these can break this way and we'll turn you that. Right, the carrier doesn't really matter. I don't think the carrier matters. Yes, yeah, see. It doesn't look like it matters too much where, where it is. Okay. But we do have five groups inbound. I 
I am now. I'm gonna get them to take yes, on sir. the Raider Squadron, and I think I'm gonna get them to take on that Raider Squadron. I still want this to be protected. Yes, Commander. Clearance zone attack. Priority one is in safe hands. IFF confirms unit is hostile. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Commander, oh. multiple new Dreadus contacts. It appears someone really doesn't want us leaving Helios Alpha. Okay. We're going to have to keep them in mind. The yes, moment. Commander. Attack that. This doesn't have any missiles, so we're gonna have to just like make sure you it's within gun gun range. Um, not focused on that. That focused on that. That can I focus fire turrets? Focus fire on that. Um, and again, I want this that way, so it, it is within my firing arc. Right. I want this. Understood. And that. And we are going to. No, 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 no. I'm going to fire guided missiles at that, and then turrets. I'm going to focus fire on that. Okay. Right, we're gonna go. Just gonna raise everything to attack because I. The, these are carriers, so I don't have to worry at all about fighter squadron is taking fire Esco Carthy up still online target locked and firing I, d I don't I don't have to worry at all about Ooh. that looks pretty nasty select the target Uh, can we defend that? Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, Commander. Missiles incoming! Luckily they missed. Optimizing firing solutions. Break! 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 That is fucked. So... Turn around that focus fire on him we all got a hard turn because what whatever's behind us I want to I want to take care of uh, that is our Daedalus, Daedalus is taking fire um, what I want to do actually go back Defend Daedalus. You defend Daedalus. Uh, this should be fine.
Daedalus is under attack. Fucking rude. Right, no. Get me manual controls now. Yes, Commander. I'm fine having that. If, if I go straight to defense now, that's fine. Um, I need to move that. Go up. Because I, I don't want them to collide. They should be fine. Um, He's got two. This should be coming out now. Actually, I'm going to boost you. Understood. I want you to get back for Daedalus. I mean, that should. These should take care of it. So. He's fucked. Right. So, a new focus is going to be understood. has gone dark. Missiles incoming! Daedalus is under attack. Daedalus is getting the shit kicked out of it. Okay. Missiles on their way. Uh, I need to boost this back. Oh shit. Reload. Daedalus is under attack. Switching gun to manual. Daedalus is having a bad, bad day. That to be hurt. That to be hurt. Uh, turn around. Daedalus is under attack. I've got nine, three, upper four targeting. Right, so take a boost, one hundred percent attack. On it, Commander. Too far. Yeah. I can't knock out the sound. Daedalus is under attack. God damn it, they got me. Yeah, we've lost all of our fighters. Which is a problem. Yes, sir. Attack in the hang 
going on. We should be pounding away at that. That's getting pounded. Yeah. They're already in our network. I can't keep them out. They're giving us a hell of a storm, sir. Yes, sir. Missiles on their way. Missile tubes prepped. We're gonna hammer the frackers so they can't get back up. So that should be just GG right now. They'll need more than that to take us down. Clean up order received. Rally on me. All Dreadus contacts are clear. We are go to jump to Helios Gamma, sir. I'll sleep better when I can see the Ragnar clouds again. I don't think I've had more than four hours of rack time since Pi gone. We aren't safe yet. I want the Daedalus in Helios Gamma before we're attacked again. Yes, Admiral. FTL drives our spooling. Commander, we'll jump on your word. Okay, so we finally got the last manticore leveled up, which is good. These are getting well on their way to leveling up again. Um, damaged enemy. Damaged. So they, these are killing enemies. <clears throat> now, unfortunately, like Daedalus took a lot of hits there, so hopefully I can repair that. What happened at Pycon and Caprica is unacceptable. If we're to get a handle on this war, we need offensive forces out there actively repelling these Cylon incursions. Commander, small strike groups may suffice for scouting. But to defend the colonies, we require full capital fleet groups led by officers of colonial fleet. <coughs> I recommend yes. you recruit experienced officers to provide strategic oversight to our fleets. Sir, one of McKenley's officers survived the attack on PyCon. We could recruit them to help aboard Daedalus. Well, that would be nice, but look, 4,000 rec- oh. So, I... 50 requisition. That's fine. That's Once fine. an officer has been recruited, they need to be assigned to the fleet group they will oversee. Okay. So, we assign them to uh, this one. It's only 10 tillion. This officer is experienced fine. enough to be promoted. Hand them their new badge, Commander. Okay. So, as they become you. more experienced, officers can choose to focus on fleet wide tactics or bolster the strength of their personal flagship. Okay, so CIC subsystems. I think that increases the strength of the subsystems. Right now we're not doing too bad for fleet points. I would want some fleet points later, but that'll be fine. I'd rather the CIC. The presence uh, of a colonial fleet officer at a colony will encourage the local government to pay their Tilium stipend. We didn't create the articles just to have them ignored. So this should, this shows us like the Tilium input. Uh, we, we were looking at this before, but it sort of like shows when they're under attack, they're paying very little. Uh, and when they're sort of basically free, we get quite a lot. That's why uh, Libra and, and Caprica are, uh, are paying the most. Cause they're Commander, sort of like of least. It concern. is your job to keep the data loss well resourced and the 12 colonies defended. I have other business to attend to. Lieutenant Agathon will brief you when I have further commands. Okay, I mean, we, we, we got... That was a rough fight. We lost all of our fight squadrons. Action stations! 
Set condition one throughout Daedalus. Um, haven't had a chance to recharge. So, this, again, like, we basically don't have any fire squadrons available. What the hell? Oh, we've got three contacts, but that's interesting. But these are still going to be fairly hurt. I've not had a chance to, to, you know, do any repairs. Yeah, so... Daedalus is still pretty banged up. All of the ships are pretty banged up. Well, I mean the Berserker is, and that Lancer is, but apart from that, I mean the Adamant's kind of okay. I don't want anything smacking it from the right hand side, but other than that, it should be okay. So say we luckily, all. Luckily, we do have our fight squadrons back. Okay, so I can't get a target lock on them. Launching fighters. I can launch the fighters. This hopefully Launching has fighters. Squadrons. Good. And then the Berserk is going to have a rifle squadron as well. So I'm going to want. Yeah, because the Berserk's pretty good at the moment. Let's do that. Turn into it. I'm gonna do that, and then hopefully we can make traders contact. I'm hoping these are little ships. Fire control is warmed up and preparing solutions. throw all of these into attack mode because now we get plus six attack so it's gonna be good the same with this um, this is gonna be an attack mode um, I want them to defend him and I want them to defend him I know this leaves Daedalus sort of like without shit but unfortunately for now I, ju I just want you in defensive mode um, and hope for the best. Um, yeah, they're all going to go on underneath that structure, whatever the hell it is. Escort clear zone is intact. Priority one is in safe hands. IFF confirms unit okay. is hostile. IFF is up. I'm going to bring these down, bring that there. Right. Understood. Salvo. salvo. I'm going to keep their salvo. Yes, Commander. Bring that to bear on the right-hand side. Right, I want to... Actually, let's bring you... Bring you down. See if I can't really bring down the hammer. And then this again, like I'm gonna keep this in reserve. Have it gonna see if I can't flush them. Ideally I don't want that side to them, but that secondary gonna... battery. Full attack. Missiles incoming! IFF confirms unit is hostile. Priority one. Oh, he is gonna get Manticore is taking rushed. damage. I'm just trying to break into my Microsoft account. Sad. Right. Okay. So we can fire a missile there. Fire a missile there. actually want to I think he'll be fine 
I actually want to focus down him. I mean, they've all just used MSR, so. I mean, something I do want to do is I want to slow them down and just bring them all the way down. So say we all. Same as with this, like, it doesn't need to go anywhere, it just needs to fire the fuck into that, and I want to focus on him. Like, he is... Manticore is taking damage. Solution updated. Target acquisition maintained. Manticore is really hurt. That one's okay. That one's okay. Yeah, I'm, I, I should probably pull this one out, out of the fight. Uh, let's see if I can't boost, boost the engines. Let's try and get you as far away from... On it, Commander. ...the shitstorm that's going on at the moment as possible. Do that. Okay. Uh, that one's gone. Keep your target locked and left for clear. Like they've got two two volleys of um, guns, so okay. Focus up fire on him. On it, Commander. Okay. Like that. On it, Commander. To be honest, I mean, this is doing fine. So say we all. On it, Commander. Okay. Firing on target. System repairs underway. Right to you. Yes, Commander. You. I still got one. And he's still got one. It's fine. Adjusting shot by point zero six. Fire! We've got the down. Actual says to mop up and prepare for extraction. Fine. Ah, oh, no, it's walked past him. That's fine. I will. Ju I will just keep. So say we all. Boosting him. Just try and get him out. Get to GTFO. I mean, they can repair. I mean, the ship has it. Like, that's. It's only got 26 left. Um, this one over here is done, right? Yeah. Yeah, 
saying. It should, yeah, it should be. They'll need more than that to take that down. down. Currently trying to hack him, which is fine, because I've got him due to party. Yes, Commander. Okay. There you go, still be fine. Order received, yeah. clean up Should and the escalate. Up. That's a step cracker. I mean, you should basically be screwed right now. That got a little messy. Clean up order received. Rally on me. Time to clean up and go home. And I'm hoping help me. There we go. I can now repair my fleet. <laughs> ah, my adamant's rent up. Good. Which gives me. I'll have to check the perk outside of time. Okay, so that gave that. What perk did that give it? Can I check that? Let's repair the fleet, thank you. Right. The fleet's all repaired up. So. 3% damage reduction, yeah, yeah. That's cool. So these have almost ranked up again as well. I mean, they're doing quite well. I might, I might change the names, but yeah, I mean our next, our next thing's uh, back at PyCon, and we do need to liberate PyCon, hopefully we might actually get uh, use of the Battlestar again, but I don't know, um, don't have that yet, we do have torpedo missions now, so are unguided so the, these ones can easily miss I'll grab that the the torpedoes can really easily miss but if they hit they are way more devastating much more devastating uh, like four and four I think uh, where is it proximity mines guided missiles is what we're using at the moment they've got six and six but like that's because you release six of them like that's four just for one and you get a salvo for a salvo of 10. So this gets a salvo of 4. So this is a grand total of what? 24 damage. Whereas this, if every single one of them hits, it's a grand total of 40 damage. But I mean, it's much harder to hit. And torpedoes are really good to get big things. So like things that aren't going to move very much. But with that, um, we'll leave it here and uh, pick this up in the next episode.